I feel like I've only been gone for 5 minutes, but we saved up 156 million dollars. Plus 34 of our super upgrade points, so it's gonna be a good day. And we finished all of our rewards, all for doing nothing. So let's spend some of this money. We're gonna buy the ring and then that, and that's gonna put us up to 109,000 dollars a second. Plus all of these, basically more coins per second. And for every one of these you buy, we get an extra 100,000 per second. We can't quite buy 10 of them, but we can buy at least 5. Long story short, we're up to 717,000 dollars a second. Second, we're starting to roll along nicely. Oh, plus we can touch that for an extra 155 million, plus 69 million. Things are so much easier when the game just throws money at you. And it's double the usefulness of this, that's going to put us up to 2.35 million dollars a second already. And a coin frenzy is probably going to help me make a little bit of progress. That left us with about a billion dollars, so we're going to spend that on our first axe. We're up to 3.5 million dollars a second. This number is going to get very big pretty quick today. Which is good because we're starting to unlock upgrades into the quintillions. And um, we're going to use this portal. I'm still not really sure what they do, but I'm going to use it anyways. We're just going to stroll right on through and hopefully it takes us somewhere interesting. The jungle. I could live with this. It's better than a city. Jungles are often full of wildlife that I can exploit. Up to 10.3 million dollars a second and we're about to upgrade our staff again. And he always just seems like he's in such a hurry. But I think I'm going to take advantage of these 35 points that I've already got. Because if I use those, I can buy the legendary upgrade, which means my ascension coins per second bonus is boosted by 250%. It's a little bit hard to quantify that right now, but 250% of anything is a pretty good amount of anything. So I sure hope I'm understanding this correctly. So we're also going to get 35% for this ascension. And then I'm not sure if this is going to qualify for this current round or once we ascend again, but I'm buying it. And then the next one we can upgrade after that increase the amount of souls received for slaying enemies in game by 125 percent that one's huge because again these are going to be the big bucks it's now just a matter of grinding ourselves some 6.1 coins a second up to 60 trillion coins a second but don't worry we'll be there before you know it well for now i'm just going to be doing this rolling through the jungle, unlocking things as I can, and upgrading them as I can. And it actually only took a few minutes to get to 40 million dollars a second thanks to a 9 times bonus. So I feel like getting even one more of those will launch us further into this game than we've ever been before. Even now, there's a level 2 staff, so up to 60.1 million coins a second. I've got another 9 times coins per second bonus at a really good time, so we're making 5 billion a second. So these are the kind of times when I just click upgrades as quickly as I possibly can, because we're pretty much going to make it back as quick as we're spending it. We're up to 8.82 billion a second. Then I'm also going to buy some of these upgrades, but only the ones that are immediately relevant to me. I've still got 45 seconds of 9 times bonus. So as long as I'm running around collecting coins and killing things, I'm making a fortune. We can already get a level 3 bow, so we're at the 14 billion dollars a second. Correction, 17 billion dollars a second. And without our bonus, we're at 2.14 billion dollars a second, just at a base rate. And just like that, we're back over a trillion dollars for the first time in a while. Once again, I have a 9 times coins bonus, so that means I hilariously get 6 666 billion dollars a second but we're also going to buy a few upgrades while we're here just because we can so let's get the elder spell book that puts us up to two trillion dollars a second right now and that's going to get a little bit bigger still because i'm just going to keep buying the spell book as quick as we can because that's going to keep bumping this number up and then paying for itself over the next few seconds we got an achievement for hundreds of trillions we're at three trillion dollars a second right now and that's going to go up. The next upgrade is $220 trillion. But each one of those is going to give us $1.6 trillion a second. So let's buy one of those and have it start to pay for itself. $13 trillion a second and counting. I feel like these 9 times bonuses are the only thing I need. Every time I get one, I make such huge progress. So now even our base rate is $2.65 trillion a second. And we have a total of... 1.7 quadrillion. Plus, we're starting to unlock some of the other stuff that's going to be pretty good. Like this, increase the amount of souls we get by 40%. That's very big because souls are very slow. We only have four of them so far. But we're also going to need more coins because more coins equals more coins. We're now making 7.3 trillion dollars a second. Correction, I didn't realize I can afford an upgrade. So 8.5 trillion and here's a hoard. This is going to give me quite a few souls, but also lots of money. The best of everything. And we can upgrade our grand spirit for 1.5 quadrillion, which means we're now up to 20. 3.7 quid uh, trillion dollars a second or way too much money but interestingly also not enough so while i'm at it we're gonna get athena's belt because that's gonna knock us up by about four trillion dollars a second i guess i might as well go back and buy some of these uh cheaper upgrades they cost 10 trillion but that's still pretty cheap i mean i can buy these without really caring at all because even after buying those we have 5.3 quadrillion dollars and we're still making 30 trillion dollars a second achievement unlocked 10 quadrillions and how fitting for only 10 quadrillion dollars we can get five percent bonus coins per second 
So there we go, we're up to 32 trillion. While we're at it, we might as well upgrade this a whole bunch because that's going to put us up to 50 trillion dollars a second. We got another nine times coin multiplier, so we're getting 461 trillion dollars a second. So that means it's time for some upgrades, which is probably going to be a lot. And I'm even going to buy these because I want to see what happens if we get our book up to level 50. Probably some pretty cool upgrades. We did get something, yeah, for five quadrillion, we can double the points. So now we're up to almost a quadrillion dollars a second. The upgrades now are costing 20 quadrillion for each and every one, but that's okay because we're making such a ridiculous amount of money that nothing matters. Although when the individual upgrades are costing 25 quadrillion dollars a second, they're getting a little bit harder to pay for. The best part is we're up to almost 100 quadrillion dollars now and 114 trillion dollars a second, and we still only got six upgrade points. Hey, look at that. We can get a necklace for only 100 150 quadrillion dollars it's going to give me 3.61 quadrillion dollars a second now we just have to wait to save up another 20 quadrillion dollars sorry make that 15 because as it turns out we're really good at making money and this individual purchase is going to put our money through the roof that basically multiplied me by several times because 3.7 quadrillion dollars a second which means we can afford things like this an extra five percent bonus coins per second and then these upgrades pay for themselves so the money pays for the money i wonder how big the numbers get just what i needed a whole bunch of coins well there's an achievement for one quintillion so i like that number and what level do you think we can upgrade the necklace at here's the next one i really want for 100 quintillion dollars we're gonna get new quests but we're about overdue to upgrade our necklace so now we're up to 76 quadrillion dollars a second and i'm not really even sure at this point uh how much i need to be upgrading these considering we're probably gonna unlock a new tool soon but we're gonna go like this a whole bunch a world income 170 quadrillion dollars a second so every five seconds we're making a quintillion dollars and we get to murder a horde of bees and somehow that this feels right and there it is our new achievement so now we can unlock uh new quests which of course are pretty ridiculous we need to kill 400 bees 2000 worms but they're gonna unlock us new stuff that are gonna push us further along the upgrade path spend the rest of my money on upgrades so now we're up to a quintillion dollars every four seconds here's what i'm looking forward to unlock a five percent chance for a random box to spawn it's a special random box instead which will bring us to a bonus stage i feel like that's where we're gonna get to make a lot of souls i just had a fun idea because i realized i had a hundred quintillion dollars and i could upgrade something like the very basic sword with that so i wonder what kind of sword i would get if i spent a hundred quintillion dollars on it Level 303 sword, excellent sword it tells me. Amazing sword, they're getting better. We've probably got a few to go through for that kind of money. Outstanding. Well, the swords are going to go up in value. This one costs 88 trillion. This one costs 25 quadrillion. That's actually really expensive for a sword. And there's even another one, 950 quintillion for the infernal sword, which seems a bit ridiculous considering it's only giving me... Well, not very much. There's one sextillion for the first time ever. And that means we can buy one divine necklace, which jumped up our dollars per second by almost 50%. Saved up a modest 2.5 sextillion, so that means I can finally buy the special random box. Now we just gotta wait for the 1 in 20 chance for it to spawn, and then we'll be getting somewhere. While we're waiting, we have killed 400 bees, so that should unlock me something interesting somewhere. I think that's probably this. Evolves bees into bumblebees for 1.2 SP. I don't know what SPs are, but I cannot afford them yet. I've only got 670 quintillion dollars, so I'm kind of broke. I finally found one of the purple things. Don't fall. Collect bonus spheres to complete sections. You'll lose time if you fall off. You have unlimited boost. Oh, well, that sounds very helpful. It's very pink. This better be worth my time because it took a long time to find this thing. So far, so good. Just don't fall. Those are what I'm after. Not really sure what they do, but they've got to be good. So far, so good. As long as I'm paying attention. We've only got a few seconds left, but there we go. Platform beginner. Thank you. Reward coins. Oh, okay. I, uh, sure. 106 quintillion? Was that it? Uh, to be fair, I was expecting something a little more outrageous than this, but at least I'm enjoying it. Whoops. The end of it better reward me with something amazing. I want lots of those soul points. Reward coins and enemies. Oh, there we go. I did get a bunch of souls from that. So the farther I go on this, the more stuff I'm going to be rewarded with. And we're going faster than ever. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start really paying attention now because things are getting difficult. Okay, gotta reset. Gotta do lots of quick jumps here. Whoops, that one was a little hard to predict. I don't think I'm gonna make it on this one. Well, I'm not entirely sure that was worth the wait. We did get some souls. I don't remember how many we had before, but it wasn't really worth it. 7.25 sextillion dollars later, and we seem to have hit another slow spot. But with only 20 upgrade points available, should we prestige? That's not really going to work either. So I'm going to spend the entirety of my fortune upgrading this, which is only going to give us another 14 levels, but that's actually going to make a pretty big difference to our money overall. 
Now I just sit back and let things kind of run themselves for the next 12 hours. And what's the worst thing that could happen? Well, there we go. A few hours later, we're up to $46 trillion and 36 upgrade points. Which, alarmingly, doesn't really mean I can unlock a whole lot of things, but I can get the loot boxes twice as often, so that's a big help. And also apparently click on that and whatever this is, which is apparently silver random boxes. I don't know what they do, but I'll take them. Here's the first one which just gives us a frenzy. Not that I'm going to complain with this screen full of maths of riches, but I was hoping for something a little newer. The next silver box also just gave me a bunch of coins. I won't complain again because I love coins, but... Something new and exciting would have been new and exciting. I'm not really sure what that was. I think that was just a large monetary reward because suddenly we're up to 143 sextillion. Well, since I have a fortune and the portal is unlocked, let's try a new area. Frozen fields. Hopefully this comes with a little more coins. There's at least new creatures to kill and that never gets old. Plus, I guess we can spend 120 sextillion on this, which increases souls in game by 75%. That's actually pretty huge. Then I'm also going to spend 950 quintillion on a useless sword just because I can. And there's a bonus for 23 times coins value so I'm gonna take advantage of this and get whatever I can. Then with whatever's left we're gonna buy the maximum for the necklace which is gonna be 10 whole levels. That puts that up to 74 but that puts me up to 1.07 quintillion dollars a second. Uh, there's that 10 times bonus that I always like so we're up to 9.7 quintillion dollars a second then we get extra time because we just re-got the bonus. So we're gonna make a whole bunch of money very quickly. But the upgrades at this point are actually so expensive that I'm gonna have to buy other things for now just because I can't even buy my good upgrades. I mean, I upgraded this thing, isn't that good enough? Well, we also still have about two minutes left of my nine times bonus, so this will eventually add up to a whole lot of money. Plus, if I could get this and get like a frenzy or potentially a bunch of the monster spawns, that would be huge. I did just get like an equipment bonus, so now we're getting nine times CPS plus 16%, so we're at 11.4 for the next 20 seconds, which ultimately gave us six sextillion dollars which is enough for one more upgrade so we're up to 1.1 quintillion dollars a second so we're gonna let that run for a few minutes well we've hit another slow spot so i think it's time to restart because 1.14 quintillion dollars a second isn't good enough anymore but we are gonna get 45 soul points plus a bonus coins per second of 350 percent so that's actually pretty massive. So it's going to take a little while to get back to where we were, but with that extra bonus, we're going to power right on through it once we do. So with all these points, I'm going to buy Soul's bonus first because we get a chance of getting a Soul multiplier from the bonus box. Then I'm going to buy this, which is pretty massive. You gain 1% Souls while the game is closed for every sword level. So that's going to add up to a ton of Souls because I'm going to level up my sword a lot. Then we're just going to buy this. Each coin you pick up gives you less 25% of your current coins per second, which at the moment is zero. But it won't be long for us to make some progress. Because when we started this whole adventure, the sword has given me 0.1 CPS per level. Now it's getting 0.6, so we're getting over five times as much as the base. It's only taken me a few minutes really to get up to $220,000 a second, well ahead of where we were before. With all the bonuses currently, we're going to power through all of these upgrades in absolutely no time at all. $600 million a second for the next 30 seconds still. That bonus alone brought us from here at the dagger all the way up to a level 10 staff which is giving us 154 million dollars a second. That took two minutes. I just got a souls boost for the first time ever. It's giving me 11 times souls for 25 seconds which doesn't sound like a lot but if every enemy I kill does that much that's actually going to make a considerable difference. It would just help if more enemies would appear. We very quickly powered up to 125 trillion dollars a second and that puts us within grabbing distance of the necklace which will give us 5.64 quadrillion dollars a second at the very first level. And so just by buying this we're now making 50 times the amount of money every second. And then finding this little frenzy also kind of helped at just the right time because look at our money go up. We're into the quintillion suddenly so I can buy a whole bunch of these. A few seconds ago we were making something like 10 trillion dollars a second. Now we're making 55 quadrillion dollars a second. Then I turned that into an ancient necklace and we're up to 125 quadrillion a second. A few more upgrades and we're up to one quintillion dollars every two seconds. And how about a nine times coins per second bonus now for the next minute and a quarter, 5.61 quintillion a second, which is great because I was just about to upgrade my necklace anyway, so 8.41 quintillion a second. We might as well just buy everything we can. And after all that, my base rate is up to 1.1 quintillion dollars a second. Just got a bonus for 23 times coins value, so I'm going to scoop up as many of those as I can because that's a pretty big bonus. That was 190 quintillion just right there. But since I also have this unlocked, 1% souls uh, while the game is closed for every level this sword is, let's upgrade this sword a few levels. Looks like we can currently afford 312 levels so that's going to be an extra 312% souls while the game is closed. And look at that, the sword itself is now earning 5800 coins per second 
which isn't a lot compared to the other things, but for a sword, it's pretty good. But that's going to be a ton of souls while the game is off, and those are the hardest thing to get. I wonder if I get other bonuses for upgrading other things that I don't know about. I should probably be checking more of these things. Let's just max buy everything for a few minutes because we can. We're making so much money at this point that as soon as I buy things, they flash red for a second, then go back green because we can afford them again. Now, we've just got to spend a fortune actually buying all the upgraded tools, but I'm not sure they're going to make a big difference in the end. To be fair, that did actually give me a new achievement, and the more achievements I have, the more coins I make, so I need to be paying more attention to things. And I got another achievement for upgrading more stuff, and there's 18 times coins per second because that was a silver box. I probably need to take advantage of this. Now, if I could just find another loot box, that would be great. Well, at least we got 15 sextillion dollars out of the deal. That's plenty of money for upgrades or whatever stupidity I want to spend it on. Like having loot boxes spawn twice as often. That's pretty important. I think I just need more achievements. I can buy 50 levels are pretty cheap for some of these, so I'm gonna do that. Because there's upgrades 5. 1.41 quintillion dollars a second. They're not making a huge difference, but at least it's fun to do something different. Well, since I feel like the best way forward is gonna be to let the souls run with the game off, I'm gonna upgrade my sword as many more times as I possibly can, which is only another 12 levels for about 9.2 sextillion dollars, but that's worth it because that's an extra 12% as long as the game is off. But also, I never really noticed this before, but if things do upgrade, your boots now give you 400% more coins, so interesting. And for the first time ever, I finished level 3 of the bonus, so we get lots of coins and enemies there. I suspect this next part is going to be ridiculously hard. Actually, I think the last one was harder. Uh, we're not doing super great, but considering I've never done this stage before, I'm actually kind of impressed with myself. But I also only got 45 of the 60 I needed, so we're 75% of the way there. Anyways, letting the game run, see you in a few hours. Well, my plan seems to be working reasonably well, because after a few hours I'm up to 61 soul points, and also 35 sextillion dollars. Plus another 34, so that puts me up to 69 sextillion dollars. And there's a 21 times coin value, so I might as well pick up a few coins while I'm here. So let's ascend one more time and get 64 slayer points. That's an extra 200% bonus to coins per second. And then buy this for 50 points, increase the amount of souls received in game by 125%. That's a big one. And then gain double souls for every kill you use while using boost. And all this stuff will probably come in handy for next time when we make even more progress somehow. 